My name is Shalina Diambo Otieno, the Executive Director of Sia Mungano Network. And today we were having a graduation ceremony for our young mothers who have undergone a um, four weeks digital um, training literacy program, which is part of our She Deserves Her Rights and Skills project that is being supported by the French Embassy in Kenya under their De Pisca de Sidha program. So um, the girls that have graduated today are uh, 46 in number, majority of them coming from Southeast Alego and North Alego. They had different um, trainings. We had uh, them having discussions on uh, issues of Microsoft Office. They also discussed um, the use of proper use of internet, that is, and also existing opportunities in the digital field, including exploring options of content creation, as well as how to create and work online through available platforms. So today we have been joined by different um, leaders who have also committed to continuously support these girls as we work towards ensuring that all of them have a dignified life in line with ending gender-based violence in Sierra County. This is the first cohort and uh, it's a program that we are looking forward to us being able to hold um, uh, at least twice every year so that at least we are able to graduate more and more girls. Though from the support from the French um, embassy in Kenya under the Pisca de Sidha, it was a one-year project that actually is ending in September. My name is Dan Joshua Duor, I'm the director of Stavisha Africa Initiative, uh, which is an NGO that works in Sierra County. We are based in a place called Nia. We work with young people and the women in our community, uh, helping them change their lives positively through available resources. Uh, within this opportunity of uh, digital literacy training, we were working in partnership with three organizations, Sierra Mungano, Stavisha Africa Initiative, and Aweapon, uh, of course, uh, supported by the French Embassy to ensure that uh, the girls that are uh, graduated today get to achieve their dreams and get to make a life stride in the space of digital literacy. Uh, while working with them, the big question then therefore is, how about the rest who are not young mothers? How about the rest who are not within this scope that we are handling at the moment? And what we say is, we have broad-based kind of programming, we are, we are engaging in other activities that ensures that uh, uh, the, the men in the community, the older in the community, uh, other young girls uh, who are not within this uh, age range or within this cohort are also supported through our various programming activities. And uh, this is all in a bid to ensure that our community is changed positively and development starts with the girls that are behind us and it proceeds to influence the entire community. Thank you.